so i welcome a uh, very good morning to all actually today incidentally today is the teachers day also on this occasion we remember <coughs> you know the services rent, uh, rendered by dr sarobali radhakrishnan you know former president as well as vice president former chancellor of amra university okay chancellor of vice chancellor of vice chancellor of banaras hindu university like that you know and uh, dr sarobali radhakrishnan dr apj abdul kalam and you know amartya sen many other eminent personalities professor c n r rao in chemistry many many you know, personalities you know uh, because <clears throat> you see here what we have to keep in mind that the father the mother and the teacher are the three primary responsible for molding the future of a country okay the father the mother and the teacher are the three primarily responsible for molding the future of a country the education is for life not merely a living rather amla joli cheyanam all that is okay for getting a job education is very very essential but it is a continuous process and lifelong process i am learning from you maybe i don't know whether you are learning something from me i don't know but i am uh, you know we are, when we interact with the various uh, you know uh, esteemed uh, our students you know i am also learning the teachers are also learning from the students okay so education is for life okay not a merely a living one thing more only <clears throat> a great teacher can mold a great student a great teacher can mold a great student a bad teacher complains a good teacher explains and the best teacher jyoti jyoti okay 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 right sorry for the small introduction see a bad teacher complains good teacher a good teacher explains and the best teacher inspires okay so many many teachers the good te- a good teacher will be remembered forever okay so it is our abundant you know, you know the duty to share our precious knowledge with our uh, you know younger generation so that you know it will be benefited not only it will help for the nation building activities okay so today is uh, we are you know really after especially you know independence you know so many personalities they played a vital role for improving the education system in the country i told few names only you ne many many personalities are there you yeah, we should also remember that our uh, dr apj abdul kalam even after you know 88 or something you know above 80 yes you know when he was delivering the last woman also he was very active he was delivering lecture to the student of shilong meghalaya at that time due to heart attack he died okay so till that time you know he was teaching the students okay so uh, i also got an opportunity to learn many things from him when i was working in drdo his simplicity is you know humble way of uh, you know living everything it is it was a lesson okay so uh, a teacher should be a role model okay <coughs> so with this i conclude now one uh, before i uh, talk start uh, talking about uh, uh, the one small point which i want to tell is that 
when you are sending the assignment, you know, at least you one copy you keep it with you. Whether you are sending hard copies or uh, online, whatever is there, you know, you just keep a copy at least with you. Whether it is assignment, whether it is project report, even the second year, project report, if somebody has opted, always, you know, before sending to regional office, as well as either, you know, here, you know, uh, head office, whatever is there, assignment, of course, regional office, okay. At least you keep a copy, it will be beneficial for you. Why I'm telling all these things? Because sometimes, because it is like an ocean, uh, if it is misplaced, you know, something, you know, never happen. But even though I'm just telling you, you have to take precaution, you know. Suppose large number of assignments are coming in the email or something like that, you know. Suppose one person, one code, course code is missing, sometimes, uh, that will not be, you know, uh, evaluated or something. So one particular, by mistake or something like that, you know. So uh, in such uh, cases, you know, occasion, you can easily send, you are already having, suppose you can resubmit uh, and we will evaluate and uh, because yesterday also it happened, one person, this, this was the first case, of course, never happened, never misplaced. So nothing to worry about that. Because it will be very safe, at least before sending, you keep a copy. Because yesterday, one gentleman who is working in Indian Navy, he was telling that every in the site, you know, all masks are uploaded except one. Afterwards, uh, when I talked to him, he was failing or whatever is there. And afterwards, he told me, sir, when I send that to, uh, you know, through email, you know, he was sent online. So one, uh, missed out and uh, it was not available. So I just uh, told him to send uh, the particular that assignment, you know, that is number 13, you are next. I told him to send. So immediately after this class, you know, I will be evaluating and uh, within 15 minutes I will be sending the mask and it will be uploaded. So it will be safe on your, uh, you know, Save if you keep one copy with you before sending assignment everything to regional office or head office, wherever it is. Otherwise, you know, you have to rewrite all these things. But please remember, uh, it will not be misplaced. We take it from me. Never happen. But even though it is safe uh, on our side, you know, if we take uh, keep a copy with us. Okay. So with this, I am starting this without wasting time. Today, MBA 12. That is unit two. Okay. So that is unit two is nature and uh, typology. Typologies of organization. Yesterday, something I told, but uh, today, from the if your own textbook, uh, just I'll brief uh, something. Unit two, MBA 12. See, uh, unit two nature and the typologies of organization. What is typology? Typology is defined as a way of classification to categorize or interpret all elements through distinguishing types of symbols. Once again, I repeat, typology means is defined as a way of classification of categorize or to categorize or interrupt all elements through distinguishing types or symbols. Okay, now <clears throat> see administration is a cooperative effort for the purpose of achieving predetermined objectives or goals. See, it is a cooperative effort. Just two minutes back, you know, there was a report that Nipah virus has affected in Calicut and one person died, one child, just five, ten minutes back. Okay, so it is now our health department and from union government also, somebody is coming and they are coordinating. So it is a collective effort to prevent such, a, you know, spreading that disease, you know, outside the district of Holigod or whatever is there. But it is a, we have to do good administration to control spreading of such diseases elsewhere. 
So it is a cooperative effort. What is cooperative effort? Now today, uh, you see here, um, curfew, uh, this thing either, sorry, uh, lockdown. What is collective effort? Police, health department, even so many people are involved in that. Okay. So this is also administration, no? It is controlling, you know, to, to, to control the COVID-19 situation, you know, government is, uh, you know, declaring many things and uh, it is also, and through collective, you know, everybody is cooperative, it is a collaborative effort, we are executing the function. So, administration is a cooperative F, uh, group effort for the purpose of achieving predetermined objectives or goals. Okay, public administration is an organized activity aiming at provisions of services, desired application of constraints to individuals and groups to the society. There will be constraints. So, uh, but even though we have to uh, render best service to the society. Okay, it is obvious that efforts of efforts of different persons had to be uh you know in accordance with the, the preconceived plan you know in while doing the plan you know who are all uh, to be involved in everything we will decide and you know you take the example of uh you know the administration control it, suppose you know during uh you know flood and other things you know holy everything that this so many people local self-government and uh, you know uh, army navy sometimes you know air force you know lifting people so many agencies are also, it is a collaborative efforts, okay? And uh, <clears throat> now, uh, when goal-directed activities are coordinated even rationally by assignment of duties, and each and everybody has got, uh, you know, they, they will be assigned certain responsibilities, okay? Home guard, firefighting, many things, you know? everybody will be assigned you know there will there is no confusion everybody knows what he is supposed to do okay so they will be allocated set of responsibilities and there will be coordination so public administration of the case organization public administration of the case organization because if organization is there then only we can coordinate all these activities you know okay so but organization can take many different forms and can maximize many diverse values organization multi functions you know they have to do the structure of organization affects the behavior of the organization as a whole and of the individual members of it the structure organization will have structure without a structure that organization sometimes you know it will be very very difficult to function because you everything cannot be controlled by one person or something like that no it will be, you know, different, different departments will be there, structure will be there, that is, hierarchy will be there, lower level people, subordinates will be there, upper level people will be there. We call it administration, okay? That is, you know, organization. The organization, what our objectives are there, that will be achieved through administration. Organization come into existence for the attainment of some purpose and goals that, of course, we already told. Now, you see, a, after the World War, Second, okay, 1945, whatever is there. Uh, now, Hiroshima, Nagasaki, you know, you know the thousands of kill, people killed, you know, atom bomb or whatever is there, you know. And afterwards, all countries in the world, they wanted to have a permanent solution that in future, such, uh, you know, wars, we should avoid as far as possible. War always create problems. You see Iraq, you see Palestine, you see Israel, now you see Afghanistan. It will take years to build, uh, you know, many, many activities now, you know, not, it, will, it will take years to become normal, okay? So what happened? War. We as far as possible war. Now here, one more thing I am just telling you. This is for your kind information because other things you can read. What is the necessity? Why this? Um, you know, why why I am telling that? See, in, in India, faced three wars: 1962 China war, 65 Pakistan war, 
seventy one Pakistan, East Pakistan, and West Pakistan, and creating Bangladesh. Okay, the three wars, India fought. We lost many people. Pakistan also, China also lost some people. Right now, situation now is very very dangerous because previously we were fighting for even Vietnam War. It took seven years that you know USA and uh, something like that. You know, even first war with the Pakistan in 1965. It was for, uh, you know, this, uh, sorry, this uh, 71 war. It was nearly 14 days. Pak uh, many wars, you know, it takes a lot of, even, uh, you know, Iraq, how many months and years, you know, it took months at least, you know. Now, please remember, it will not take months. It will take only few hours because nuclear power. India is a very dangerous uh, position uh, India is having because the other side, near, neighboring countries are also possessed. They are also having nuclear weapons and other things. It will take only second, as well as minutes, and uh, to reach the destination. Even from here to Rawalpindi, from Rawalpindi to Delhi, and the missiles and other thing, and we. And our India is also, you know, self-reliant in, you know, uh, in many, many defense areas, actually, whether it's submarine, missiles, or whatever is there, you know. So the same way other countries also, like China and many others. So now in future, the wars will not take that much days or whatever is there. So we should be very, very careful while dealing with international issues. One, see, you, you, you must have not, noticed that in Afghanistan case, you know, so far, India has not uttered a single word. We were watching the situation there, how the government, who, who, who is forming, what will be the structure, what will be their foreign policy, like that they are watching and they have not uttered a single word, India, because some of our Indians, you know, still they are there in Afghanistan, okay? And for the development of Afghanistan, so many construction projects, uh, some projects are going on there, India-aided project. Even the parliament was also was constructed by India. Modi, uh, Mr. Modi inaugurated that. Okay. So many construction activities are going on. Many our, uh, you know, Indian people are there, including Kerala people are there. So some more people, we have to get back to India. So good relation we have to maintain. That's why we are watching the situation. Okay. So... These are the things um, we have to keep in mind. So, here, after 1945, this thing, you know, the world decided uh, to have an amicable, at least, you know, future, we should avoid the wars as far as possible so that citizens will not be affected and uh, there will not be any calamity or whatever is the problem, war-related uh, issues and uh, things, you know. You can see some uh, other countries, you know. So, uh, how under Saddam Hussein, Iraq was, know how we how iraq is just see here okay uh, you should not forget that in iraq was so many you know people you know our own you know state so many people who work in there in iraq okay nurses doctors and many other people you know who are professionals were working in iraq so um, a stable government that is the organization government is required at the center okay no uh, what happened after 1945? World leaders, some of the world leaders took initiative for at least uh, making, uh, forming an organization called United Nations Organization, you know. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, Roosevelt, American President, and, uh, you know, Winston Churchill of UK, many, Nasser of Egypt, at uh, Egyptian president and uh, Marshal Tito of Yugoslavia, like that many other 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 people also took initiative, and we formed UNO headquarters. So then, uh, uh, you know, this uh, personality, like uh, you know, uh, they created, they wanted to, uh, you know, form an organization called United Nations, you know, organization UNO. So, and afterwards, you know, you know what really happened under UNO, many other agencies also. 
uh, like uh, WTO, WHO, like that. So many, so many, so many allied, ILO, many things, you know. Because, you know, what happened? In, after, you know, having this type of this thing, you know, so many organizations, uh, the, you know, the gap between one country to other, you know, it has reduced now. We are interacting with each and every country and we are helping each other. Remember, when we were in Kerala, we were struggling with, you know, we were having flood and other things. So many countries in the world, they wanted to help. They asked, asked her, same way. We also, I heard that uh, yesterday, our chief minister was telling that uh, many countries in the world due to, you know, uh, this thing, natural calamities or whatever is that is affected, if they require any help, not only he was requesting, our chief minister uh, yesterday, I saw that after 6 p.m., uh, he was requesting the Kerala settled there, any, uh, whether it is San Francisco, California, or any other countries, uh, you know, uh, in the world where it is natural calamities affected, definitely. So they, he was requesting the Kerala settled there to help the local government uh, for saving the precious life of the people. So what happened? Through this type of organization, now we are having a lot of interactions and uh, you now you can see that even Afghanistan issue was also discussed in Doha, in which some other countries were also represented and uh, that to, in order to have a cordial relation. Okay, so these are these type of things also. So organization plays a vital role. Okay, so, <clears throat> uh, so I told United Nations was established at the end of the Second World War with the noble objective of saving the world from the scourge of war, another war. And we know that much of the cooperative human effort take place. It is presumed that in future, if any war is there, it is for, it will be for water. Water becoming, you know, a scarce, uh, you know, material, you know. So it will be for water, getting water, because it is uh, the, you know, water level is going down. So, uh, you know, we are making a lot of progress and other thing, but climatic condition really, you know, the water level, everything, you know, due to various reasons, uh, due to exploitation, due to, you know, population uh, control, uh, increase or whatever is there, demand is going up and water level is going down. So many things are there. So it is presumed that, uh, you know, anyway, so we are not discussing about the future that, you know, war or whatever is there, but whatever. Now we are we are coordinating with uh, you know UNO agencies. They are helping each country for their developmental activities. You know here also so many projects are going on. UNDP, UNESCO, yeah, many 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 many. World Bank is also giving loan. So for, these are all for developmental activities. They are also doing for other countries. Now they will also help Afghanistan to rebuild whatever is destroyed due to these uh, recent disturbances and other things. Okay. No. Why organization uh, are important? Amit Itsoni, I had noticed this particular unit, this particular, uh, what is that, you know, the uh, course uh, that is MBA 12, uh, a lot of theories are involved. So and so told like this, so and so told like this, so and so, so, and so many, so many, so many, so many. That you have to go through, just read that, okay? Because elaboration, because one person in one uh, subject, you know, many people have told many things. Okay, so kindly read that carefully. And the important questions, you know, that I will tell you at the end, the last class. Okay, uh, important question. But here, what I have seen that so and so told this, so and so told like this about the organization that you read and understand because very simple line, simple line, simple. Line. So I will. Uh, take, uh, I will concentrate where some, some where uh, I had to contribute, you know. I had to contribute. Okay, other thing kindly read that you are all very senior people. Okay, now here Amitai Idichoni, our society is an organizational society. Remember that. Uh, you know, help is required. You know, you cannot uh, you cannot say that uh, I don't need any help. Please uh, you cannot survive without the help of others. Please remember that. Now here, what I'm telling in our society, organize, uh, or it is a society, it is organizational society. We are born in hospitals. We are born in hospitals. 
പഠിക്കുന്നത് സ്കൂളിലാണ് കോളേജ് ആയിക്കോട്ടെ അത് കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് നമ്മൾ പിന്നെ അത് കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് എംപ്ലോയഡ് ബൈ ബിസിനസ് ഐദർ ഗവൺമെന്റ് ഓർ ബിസിനസ് ഫേംസ് ഓർ അസോസിയേഷൻ ഓക്കെ കണക്ടഡ് വിത്ത് മിനിമ പീപ്പിൾ ആൻഡ് വി ജോയിൻ ട്രേഡ് യൂണിയൻസ് എഗെയിൻ യു നോ സം അതർ അസോസിയേഷൻ ആൻഡ് പ്രൊഫഷണൽ അസോസിയേഷൻ എഗെയിൻ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഓഫ് പീപ്പിൾ സൊ വി ആർ ഇൻട്രാക്ടിംഗ് വിത്ത് യു നോ വേരിയസ് പീപ്പിൾ ഇൻ സിക്നസ് ആൻഡ് ഇൻ ഹെൽത്ത് at work and the play life in modern industrial society is increasingly conducted in organizational setting everywhere organization is there okay organizations are not a new invention earlier as organization was there you know many many so, uh, decades ago general electric company ford everything in america you know many companies were there please don't think that you know recently these companies are because many many companies were there you know uh, you know even usa london and many other uh, countries you know many many uh, uk sorry uh, many many uh, organizations were there in view of many sociologists organizations have become the dominant institutions of contemporary society okay now the word organizing spring from organism okay which mean a structure which parts or com- components integrated in such a way that their relation to the world governs their relation to each other suppose one organization is there i told you, you know many many departments be there they are all interconnected here also you see take the example of kerala government many many departments are the local self government department is there police department is there irrigation department is there food department is there civil supply department is there scst uh, department is there so these are all you know this plus this plus this plus this is equal to total government same way at the center also it is like that same way in an organization also very various department will be there they are responsible for executing certain functions assigned jobs okay now victor a thompson now so many people told many things a few i will just discuss victor a thompson an organization is a highly rationalized and impersonal integration of a large number of specialists so each department is headed by a specialist account account department will be headed by a chartered accountant secretary company company secretary is a acs is a professional the same way lawyer see uh, for hr or whatever is there is uh, that person will be having law degree also so they are all professional same way scientist they will be entire for whatever science or whatever is there ms or whatever is there they are all professionals okay so they will be the head of that particular department okay so it will be easy for them to take a decision next uh, chester i bernard an organization as a system of consciously coordinating personal activities or forces of two or more persons an organization will have more persons okay now e weight big an organization is a continuous system of differentiated and coordinated human activities utilizing transforming and welding together a specific set of human material capital okay ideational okay and the natural resources will be a unique problem solving world whose function is to satisfy particular human needs in interaction with other systems of human activities and resources in its particular environment see there are many segments we have to coordinate all the activities then only the ultimate result will be there uh, okay now uh, gordner herald and nicolson says that an organization is a collection of people and the same thing you know they are telling something where are important is there where i will tell you okay other thing you can just uh, you know because these are all simple simple thing okay uh, now urvik urvik says organization determines the activities those are necessary for a purpose for plan and arranging them in group which may be assigned to individual uh, or or uh, whenever we are appointed in a company 
work allocation will take place. So if you, what is that joining report? When you are joining an organization, suppose whether it is government or private, wherever it is, see, suppose if you join, what will be that? The first sentence, so and so is, uh, you know, you know, what is your name? Somebody's name, Amrita Sundaran. What is it? Sundaran. Okay. Amrita Sundaran has joined so and so company as, suppose, you know, uh, personal manager or general manager so and so on so and so date within bracket forenoon or afternoon. Please remember whatever I say, just remember. Whenever joining report is given, you have to write the date that I am joining. You see what happened? So and so person has joined as in the post on date within bracket afternoon or forenoon. It makes difference because when promo during promotion after some time, you know, suppose you know, they decide uh, if they are deciding only you know 20 percent uh, year to promote, then the senior most person will be taken. So at that time, suppose same date, uh, more persons are there. So at that time, forenoon, persons will take first, then afternoon, seniority. So we have to write a forenoon or afternoon. Okay. Now, uh, uh, wherever you know, uh, you have joined so and so and so, whatever is there. Then he or she shall report to. So and so, so and so, so and so. So from this, your name has come, date of joining has come, department has come, your designation has come, everything. Reporting relation, you will report to so and so, so and so. So these are the uh, joining report. They called joining report. And not only that, you know, from your side also, the joining report will be issued only when you give the join, joining report. Hello, suppose through PSA you are uh, getting an uh, selection you have to join give, give the joining report first what what is the sentence actually in the, uh, see these are all organizational matters see uh, dear sir or sir uh, you know this uh, official letter always you know joining report it is official okay uh, dear mr so and so don't write like that see yeah, that of course i will explain you there are many salutation and other things we should be very, very careful. Now, you must have heard that past two, three days, you know, people were telling in Panjayat, you should not say, sir, yeah, and madam, like that, you know, where things are going on in Palaga district or whatever is there. Okay. Um, that is okay. Whatever they do, they want, let them do it. But here in official matters, you should take a prior, uh, this thing, precaution while addressing to the people. Okay. What is that? It is not in this book. I am just telling you and sharing my knowledge with you. What is that? See, when you are addressing a letter to a district collector, a parcel there, when you are official, this thing, or a principal, sir, not a dear, he is not a dear to you. Suppose if you are addressing a letter to a collector, official, or a chief secretary, or secretary, or collector, or parcel there, or supply officer, or village officer, sir, that is the correct word, okay? And uh, uh, top, you know, you have to write your uh, name and whatever address or something, then two, so-and-so, so-and-so, suppose, uh, so-and-so person, Jafar Malik, district collector, uh, uh, civil station, mini civil uh, civil station, Kakanada Rangulam district. See, if you are addressing like that. The same way, if you are addressing a letter to so-and-so, suppose they have, uh, in, in a company, to the personal manager, so in, don't write name there. In the, you know, when uh, you know, uh, joining some organization, you just write senior personal administrator to the senior personal administrator because he has given the power to recruit senior person officer, so and so, 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 whatever is there. Dear sir, I am thankful to you for your offering me, I am grateful to you for offering me the post of so-and-so, so-and-so in your esteemed organization. Accordingly, I am joining, submitting my joining report on this date, so-and-so, so-and-so. Next, as desired, comma, 
I am submitting the following document for your record. That is, you know, date of birth or whatever is the certificate copy or whatever is the photograph. Because identity card, that issue, so many, so many things, you know. One, one, date of birth certificate, two, passport size photograph, two, three, numbers. Two, three numbers you have to give, not one. Because, you know, identity card, they have to give in the record. Police verification, sometimes they have to do, like that, you know, sometimes four passport size photograph. That not old, not black and white. Latest photograph you have to give always. Okay. So then, uh, your uh, SSLC certificate. Why SSLC certificate copy? Only in SS, uh, matriculation certificate date of birth is shown. Not your degree certificate. Not your master's degree. Date of birth is given only in metric SSLC certificate. So that copy. Because certificate, date of birth is required. No, you, then only they can fix that, uh, you know, retirement age, you know. Okay. So then all other thing, character certificate or whatever is the uh, that you can experience certificate, educational qualification certificate, whatever is that you can submit. Okay. So you then thanking you, you will faithfully, your name, signature, then left side, left side, enclosure as above. Okay. That is whatever you have mentioned, uh, the serially you to enclose. What are you know first? Suppose the date of birth, then date of birth you to put that. Then next, turn the certificate, turn the uh, certificate, just you belong back. Then photograph, suppose if it is uh, uh, like that, like that, uh, so that they can easily find out all these things. Okay. Then, uh, you know, your medical report. Please remember, in government, medical certificate is compulsory. You are fit. Uh, that uh, not from the MBBS doctor. That is from the health center or district hospital or whatever is the medical certificate is a prerequisite while joining government job actually. This type of thing you tell then only afterwards. After getting this, government will issue or the employer will issue further joining report from their side in which they will write where you have to report. Not only that, sometimes you have to report uh, to units. You will be posted uh, so and so, so and so, and you will be reporting to so and so. So, various locations will be there, refineries and many other things. You will be posted, uh, so many, many locations will be there. So, like that, okay. Hmm. Organization is a systematic bringing together the okay, interdependent. I already told, okay. Now, uh, organizations are social unit, okay, corporation. Now, here, take the example of. Uh, Corporation. What is corporation? Armies, schools, hospitals. Hey, corporation means, eh? you know, not you don't think of municipality and corporation. Here, corporation means organization. What is organization? Corporation. Food Corporation of India. Okay. Fertilizer Corporation of India. Indian Oil Corporation, like that, uh, oil, oil and Natural Gas Commission, that is how they corporation, okay? Like there are many, many corporations. What is corporation? It is passed, legislation is passed by the Indian Parliament. And, of course, they will have their own organization structure. And remember, they are supposed to give their balance sheet to that, which will be placed before the Indian Parliament, both houses of Indian Parliament. Shares are held by the President of India. Okay. So that is not only that, legislation will be made for creating any corporation, Government of India has to, uh, you know, the Parliament has to approve. This is then restore companies, everything that is the secretary thing. Okay. That type of thing. Are there. Then army, you know very well. Indian Defense Force, which is one of the biggest, one of the biggest, I think fourth biggest in the world. Okay. Nearly 13 lakh people de are deployed. The largest, uh, uh, you know, the employ employer, we cannot say, because this is a combined strength. Largest employer is Indian Railway. 
The railway means one. But army is different, navy is different, and the air force is different. But under defense ministry only. But combined, that is the largest. But as a single largest means employer in the country is Indian Railways. Nearly 9 lakhs employees are working. Okay. Other one, 13 lakhs. Now you, you should ask me, you know, paramilitary forces, that is CRP, CRPF, BSF, Central Industry Security, CASF, like there are many other, Indo-Tibetan, like that, you know. They are called paramilitary forces. It is coming under Home Ministry. Army, Navy, Air Force is coming under Defense Ministry. Defense Ministry. Okay? Other one is paramilitary forces. Okay? Understand the difference. Territorial Army is there. Many other things are there. Okay? Now, <clears throat> Corporation Army, schools, hospital, church. These are all organizations only sometimes. You know what happened? Group of people are there. Group, uh, uh, human groupings. Okay? Hospital, church. Private companies also having church, uh, uh, you know, churches are held by the, you know, the government will not make any church, you know. And it is uh, by the, you know, I think community or whatever is the, you know, hospital. It will be by the community, by the government, by the private sector also. Hello? Hospital or operative sector the hospital is the private hospitals are the government hospitals are the and, uh, you know, missionary or whatever is there. Christian Medical Hospital, Vellur, and many other, uh, you know, private uh, Tata Memorial Hospital, the greatest uh, cancer research center in the country. That is a private. And now, of course, we are coming under the Department of Atomology, perhaps. Okay? Now, it is like that, you know. So, all are playing their role. Eh? These are, that's why I am telling you, these are coordinated efforts. Now, there is ethnic group, there is um, friendship, church, church, particular, People, group of people are going there, okay? And uh, now, tribe. India is having a lot of tribes, tribal area. And uh, you, that's why we are having SCST, uh, SC, ST, ST, tribe, not SC, ST. Now, Kerala, for, remember this, you know, the, I am talking, I don't think that, you know, I am talking outside the, uh, this thing. My intention is to provide knowledge to you. These are all simple lines you can read and understand. But the thing which I am going to tell, that will give you additional information, which is required. Okay. Other things, of course, very simple sentence you read. Okay. Then perhaps you will ask me, you know, if I, we have to read <laughs> what I am teaching. No. It's not like because there are there certain uh, latest developments that I have to narrate. See, Kerala is having SC, SC. Tribal beds like uh, Attapadi, Nilambur, Vayanad, tribal beds are also there. But remember, there are some states in K uh, India where there is no tribe. ST. There are some states in, uh, in India there is no SC. In Punjab, there is no ST. It is only SC. Yeah, there is no forest land or uh, plain land in Punjab. In Haryana also. It's a plain land. Okay. Tribals are, you know, hilly side or whatever is there. Normally, normally, normally. But Jharkhand, everything, tribal belt is there. Orissa, tribal belt is there. Kerala, but tribal belt is there. Same with Tamil Nadu, tribal SCST is there. But, there are some exclusively, Tripura or some other, for eastern state, only tribals are the Krishna SC. So, there are some, that is the peculiar, peculiar things in our beautiful country. There are only SCs in some states. There are only STs in some states. There are both SCSTs in some, that is Kerala and many other states actually. So, tribals also, the, that they are also group. Remember, tribals are having many, many groups. Sometimes they don't have language by what they are speaking or making a voice or something, long language, which language sometimes. Remember this, okay? So, uh, tribal, though they are also, you know, uh, please remember one thing, in the tribal belt, sometimes they are not allowing other people to enter. Okay? Remember that uh, in um, Andamani Koba, 
there are certain areas where people cannot go though it is a, uh, what a, a tourism spot some area people cannot go because uh, you know the tribals are like that okay so without the, you know you cannot enter or they will be sometimes killed uh, they will kill that type of things so we, we should understand the reality before entering to tribal belt their culture is different uh, when they are sick they will not go to doctor they will take their own you know medicine they are having you know some leaves and many other things like that you know so remember this thing these are all beauty of you know how people are living okay now <clears throat> they are eating from the jungles only they are not coming out they will not take a tea a uh, coming water and uh, you know having chapati and uh, something uh, no they will try to gather their food from the forest only okay uh, that is the thing anyway so tribal groups are there and uh, now what is the division of labor you know when one particular you know organization you know various uh, departments are there very category is there uh, see labor means skilled labor is there semi skilled is there unskilled is there various category of employees are there that is the depression division of labor power and responsibility each power, uh, person is given power okay responsibility also they are, they are accountable for that there are so many divisions okay uh, quality control division quality assurance division and then you should ask what is the difference between quality assurance quality control you will think that you know both of them are same no quality control means whenever material is coming inside the factory when material is coming inside the factory we to ensure whether we are getting the material vendor is supplying the material as per our specification to ensure the quality otherwise it, if it goes for production then definitely there will be everything will be spoiled sometime proper specification or whatever is not adhering to then definitely there will be problem so before the uh, distributing to giving to production department what the quality we are material we are receiving that we have to check whether really uh, as per the specification we got the material that is called quality control number 2 what is quality assurance whenever we produce suppose car is manufactured by maruti quality what is quality assurance before you supply it to the dealer they will ensure that all pare meters are met see painting their wheel alignment or whatever is there then you know uh, this thing that per uh, this thing you know uh, kilometer you know uh, how much uh, this thing all equipments are installed properly or not engine everything is connected properly or whatever is there and not only that the price which they have quoted you know whatever they are demanding from the customer what you ac petrol or diesel everything is as per the demand of the customer only they have to check after ensuring 100 percent they are supplying to the dealer for onward transmission okay so organization is a system that is okay now nicolas henry identify the following characteristic of organization you see everybody has given their own version so just read that okay very simple one there were important thing is that there i will talk say nicolas harry identify the following characteristic of organization say purposeful complex human collectivity see organization remember it is not easy But there will be purpose for formating one see here uh now see uh, one company is formed suppose metro railway kochi metro railway what is the purpose to provide cheap transport that uh, pollution free transport in kochi transportation of people isn't it and uh, very cheap and very safe, uh, safe also no accident will take place and automatic control everything without uh, this thing no Uh, logo pilot or whatever is nothing is required automatic this thing is there okay everything con uh, computer controlled okay so there is a purpose for each and everything you know then 
complex. It is complex also. It is not easy, you know. We have to, you know, you can see that how we are controlling COVID situation. So, complex situation, is it? Same way. Okay, the organization is also like, see, our the government is also like organization, no? State secretary, this is also organization. Next, human collectiveness. So, though, everything is automatic. Computer is there, everything is there. Please remember, behind every machine, there is a man. Everything computer can do, no problem. But now I will tell you one another incident. Instead of this, I will tell you one another incident, organizational, this thing. There was a question that, you know, big, big personality, they will have private secretary or personal secretary, PA, whatever is there. So computer is there, everything is there, you know. Previously, he was typing each and everything, he was drafting letter, everything is there, everything, everything, everything. Through computer, for booking the ticket, automatic, right? No need to go to a travel agency, everything is available there in the computer, okay? That, uh, you know, they can show either in the airport or railway, a railway station or whatever is there. And uh, ro a robot is there, everything is there, eh? isn't it? For, you know, doing lifting materials or whatever is there, everything is there, no? Now, there was a question. I, I had an opportunity to work as a private secretary to do senior people also, very senior people. Can a computer replace a secretary? Can a computer, you know, a computer can replace a secretary? Because everything is machine is doing, you know. Whether it's fax, whether it is email or whatever is there, computer is there, everything is there. So what is the use of private secretary? Why our minister, chief minister, everybody, principal secretary, private secretary, additional secretary, that secretary, this secretary, isn't it? So computer is there, no, already. Robot is there, no, already. But everything is available for your kind of information in computer. But where is human touch? Where is feeling, sorrow, everything, whether this computer will have, you know, that affection between a boss and a private secretary, that definitely a computer and a boss will not have that much relation, you know. A private secretary, whether it is a man or girl or whatever is there, that, you know, very cordial relation, you know, that they are maintaining because they have to work in the company. Their tension will be there. Private secretary is rendering a lot of help to the boss and to boss everything. And computer is also doing. But there is a relation between a officer as well as a private secretary, suppose a chief minister and a private secretary. But that relationship, that mental satisfaction will not be there with the computer, you know, that feeling will not be there. No? So that is the, that we have to keep in mind. In the organization, though we are everything is computerized, there are certain things we are missing also that human touch. Okay, we are becoming automatic machines, you know, isn't it? No, especially nowadays pandemic situation, everything is online. Everything is online. Okay, so we are slowly becoming computer. Okay, no, division of labor, power of responsibility, division of everything. Okay, deliberated. Now that the presence of what is that? Okay, purposeful, complex, human collectiveness. Characterized by secondary, impersonal relationship. Okay? We are, when we are working in an organization, whether it is impersonal relationship, you know why? In front of you, all are equal. Okay? A good officer, he should be a neutral person. Impersonal. By giving promotion, increment, or whatever is the he has to analyze the service rendered by his subordinate and uh, without, uh, uh, you know, uh, having any reservation or whatever is there, according to the task done by him or her, we have to give impersonal way we have to behave. Okay, because, you know, he is related to me, so I have to give more promotion. 
So I had to give so and so, so no impersonal. Then another thing, specialized and limited goals. It is a organization specialized, okay, limited goals, characterized by sustained corporate goals, larger social system, yes, then products to their environment. See, we uh, provide services and product to their environment, depend upon the needs, you know, we have to provide the materials, okay, then depend upon the exchange with their environment, that is also there. Now, formal and informal organization. Yesterday, I already told, but from your book, because I'm just covering. Yesterday, I told uh, from other book, actually, from company secretary, this thing, when I was teaching ACCA as well as ACS, so that I am having a lot of, uh, you know, books, actually. So from that, I was telling. So now, from your book, uh, I'll just say something. Formal and informal organization. So every organization should have a formal structure. But there are informal also. So let me talk about the formal first. Mohit Bhattacharya distinguishes formal organization for social organization. Okay, 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 okay. That is there. Formal organization is meant the pattern of behavior. See, pat without organization, this behavior, that attitude will not be there. See, a branch manager in a bank, he will report to regional manager. Regional manager will report to zonal manager. Zonal manager will report to so and so, so and so. Sometimes a director, sometimes you know managing director. The, the relationship will be there. You know the hierarchy is there. So if there is no organization, then what type of hierarchy will be there? Okay. So good organization will have good structure. Same way, each organization is having here also in government also. This type of structure is already available. Now take the example of police. Beautiful uh, this thing. Now you see, constable, then sub inspector, above him, D a circle inspector is there, above him, DSP is there, above him, SP is there, above him, IG is there, above him, ADGP is there, above him, DGP is there. From this, what you understood? A police inspector or police constable cannot directly interact with the DGP without the permit protocol is to be maintained. The same way a technician or a lower staff or something directly cannot interact with the chairman, managing director. It is against the rules. Because what happened now? You have got an officer. Through that you can forward. You know, protocol. We have to maintain hierarchy. We have to maintain. So for example, a bank of uh, probation officer cannot write a letter to chairman, managing director of uh, State Bank of India or uh, no. He has to go through proper channel. Then only it will be considered. Remember, otherwise your dream will not be fulfilled. Because all of a sudden from the top, nobody will take any action. They will ask explanation from the down level. If it is forwarded also. Suppose, if you are addressing a letter to DGP, do you think that DGP will take action? He will seek information from down level. Then he will take action. So, it is better to maintain the protocol in an organization. Okay. So, where, where is the informal? No. Formal organization is meant to pattern. So, automatically, our behavior will be changed. So, we know to whom we are reporting. So, accordingly, our behavior will change. And remember that before that, uh, another uh, senior person here, we will automatically we'll give us good morning, sir. And we, we, you will give a lot of respect to the other people also. We are immediate, immediate officer as a very good morning, sir. Okay, like that. So, he will also give respect. So automatically, your attitude, everything will be changed. If such a system is not existing, then what will happen? Then, whereas informal organization is member, that of course, it is coming separately. Okay, now here, the characteristics of uh, formal organization, uh, the structure, it has a clearly defined, all organization structure will be ha we're having defined structure of activity which is predetermined by the top management. Now, for your information, I am just telling you, any organization structure made for a particular company has to be approved by the board of directors of the company. Because how many people they require, what are the levels, under them how many people we have to deploy, 
total financial expenditure you know uh, what implication what will be there everything board has to approve accordingly the structure can be made depend upon needs depend upon product diversification whatever is the accordingly organized structure will be there okay now here it is clearly defined structure of activity each uh, uh, department is having their own uh, you know structure will be there responsibility also will be like that okay then formal organization is a clearly it is a stable this thing that company suppose this person resign also the structure will remain as it is another person will join a company secretary is going another company secretary will come a person and is leaving the another person but structure will remain same okay it is required actually because all these are all vital activities okay can you imagine that uh, there is uh, we don't want any account department we don't want any hr department then who will settle your ma matter say you know this hr is not an easy subject you know i am that's why i am perhaps you know sometimes i am just telling you because you don't know the importance of this vital course from birth to death you will ask what is birth what is death hr department is involved you now you ask me what is birth what is death i will tell you what it is see you have joined your duty at that time you are declaring your wife or uh, are you married or whatever is there you are you know married whatever is your, your father's name mother's name everything you are you know after well why what is the duty of hr now here just imagine lot of social obligation we have to meet hr is a very is not like other topic it is everywhere this is required and you should know the complexity of this now Suppose you are unmarried man at the time of joining, unmarried girl or whatever is there. Then after all you are getting married, you have to inform the company or a department. I am married. You know why? Automatically the person will become dependent. If you are not declaring that, the wife will not be the dependent of the husband. Unless you declare, how you will declare? Sir, I am married. Not like that. You have to attach the wedding card also. Not orally. ஒரு <laughs> in case husband dies wife will get a, you know all benefits otherwise no if you are not intimating the this thing you know whether it is married or children or whatever is the nominee then the benefit to whom they will give father or mother that they do, it will go to court also sometime now another aspect suppose if you are married or whatever is the then afterwards the child birth again you to inform you know i am uh, blessed with uh, you know son or girl baby girl or whatever is there you know why that will be recorded and she or he that baby will also become dependent because medical reimbursement afterwards when they grow educational allowance everything then only they will get leave travel concession everything so they will otherwise you know all of a sudden if you declare that my son is a eight, eight, 8 year old 10 year old my daughter is 10 year old then they will say that you have not declared your daughter or son till 9, nine years so in order to avoid that whenever child is born immediately you need inform hr even uh, hr mean over personal department they, that you have to maintain record now another aspect but you see one more thing for me a surprising thing also it happened uh, in my organization uh, when child was born from punjabi wrote a letter to a note to me sir huh? i am blessed with a baby girl you are request to do the needful what is the meaning of that don't write like that you know 
I am blessed with a baby girl, baby boy, or whatever is there. You are requested to the needful. That sentence, instead of that, I am blessed with a son or boy, girl or whatever is there. Kindly keep this in the regard. Not to do the needful. What I, I have to do. So, uh, I can only keep in the record, you know. That is the thing. So, this type of things are there. Now, another thing, important thing is there. Now, death Death case. Death case. Now, I told you birth. I told you unmarried, married. Now, I am just telling you death. If somebody died, an employee died, everything, again, HR has to under help taking you know them to either you know if it is happening in the factory then immediately to providing transport taking them to house and doing up to cremation ground and uh, uh, everything you know the hr man has to somebody uh, from hr department has to coordinate the activities because they are employees of the company and uh, then afterwards what happened after death and everything you know then the facility what are the you know uh, due dues uh, due to the disease uh, has to be distributed gradually to the nominee. The nominee. Nominee means born of five person, uh, wife, children, all the things. That of course, it is a complex situation. Please remember that. After marriage, everything is eligible for wife. No doubt about it. But remember, if you are having one or two kids. 100% compensation, in my opinion, should not be given to wife. If you are having two kids, see, this is only my personal opinion. Because I experience a lot problem. That's why I'm just telling you. Why? If 100% uh, is given to wife, and two, ki two kids are there. Now, after getting all money, several lakhs of rupees, after one or two years, if she is getting married, what will happen to these two kids? Who will take care of them? Do you think that uh, the third person will uh, take care of them? Sometime. What is the guarantee? So what I had taken, uh, when during my period what I did, 50% of the amount will be given to wife. 25%, 25% will be deposited in the name of the two kids till the age of 18 years or, uh, older. After 18 years, these two persons, the boys or girl or whatever is there to keep, can avail those take from the bank. In the bank, the deposit is there. We will not give everything to them. But you see, I don't want to, because I can write a book about the what really I suffered. So many, many cases were there. So uh, many uh, death cases uh, I handled uh, and many issues. Uh, there was no nominee at that time, what we'll do. After, uh, you know, here it happened in Kodi Kodi, and when I was in Chandigarh, one well fellow died. I brought uh, the thing, dead body and other things, you know, with the widow walls in. Within, uh, after, you know, one and a half months, she ma got married. And till that time, you know, the amount was, uh, uh, you know, um, what is that, you know, uh, everything I just, uh, you know, I was uh, distributing everything, you know, gratuity, pronoun one, everything. Finally, everything, several lakhs of rupees he got. He was only having only 21 years old. The boy died, and uh, the person who died uh, was supposed to take dinner on that particular day in the evening in my house. But uh, two o'clock, uh, one truck, uh, some accident took place in, in front of our gate factory. He died, and uh, for him as well a newly married girl, the dinner was fixed at my residence. Anyway, after they brought him here. Now listen, everything I gave to you, I am why I am telling you should know when you are learning public administration, this type of thing, you may come across this, such a problem. See, everything I handed over. And afterwards, what happened? Uh, 14, 13 rupees something was due to him. Some, you know, one day he worked or something, some payment, day, little, 13 rupees. So I just wrote, uh, only, you know, 13 rupees, something is there. Uh, some tax or whatever, some issue. We have to, we have to pay to that uh, man who died. I got 
a registered letter from Kolikod, that is Mukam, that addressed to Chairman Managing Director, that in spite of our request, your personal manager Unikrishnan has not forwarded a 13 rupees to uh, all other several lakhs they would 13 rupees that is government of india money that is the that was you know some claim something was there you know it has to be approved in 13 rupees only he wrote a letter to chairman managing director blaming i only brought the dead good everything i did lot of i cannot you know i can write books about that whatever i suffered without money brought the dead body everything that i, I don't want to disclose that i can write a big book on that very the maximum struggle I did without the money I had to come all the way, not even a single place in my pocket, everything, you know, it is a different story. But afterwards, I got the benefit that uh, he issued a notice to chairman letter that for 13 rupees. Immediately, I wrote letter, I am not your servant. Take, go to court and claim from 13 rupees from the central government. And uh, instead of doing all the things, who won your 13 rupees? And like that, I wrote and don't write in future any correspondence and directly deal with the company or court like that. So like that, you know, it happened. You know, nominee should be very careful at the time of, uh, you know, not, so uh, the, this is one thing. Now, uh, there is a rule that after the death, uh, you know, uh, if you are married or something, wife is eligible for it anyway. Well, there is no doubt about it. But remember one thing. Why I am telling all this thing? Always you have got certain social obligations. Why I am telling all this thing? Again from the practical experience I am just telling you. Cargill war. I don't know whether I told you, which group I told you. These are all practical this thing. You know, the organizational problem. I am just telling you. Cargill war from Thiruvalla. One ma ma uh, Jawan came here during Karagul one, and he, his marriage was taking place in uh, in the hall. His marriage was taking place; it was not conducted. At that time, he got a telegram to come back to Karagul, and he and remember when he got the telegram, only few hours, uh, just you know, half an hour or one hour was left left out for catching the train. Because, you know, Kanyagamari, Himasagar Express, only once in a week, it will go directly to Jammu Kashmir. Only half an hour or one hour left left out. And he was in the Pandal, and he was just, you know, he used to put a tali and other things, you know, Mangala Sutra or whatever is there, you know. Immediately, when he got the telegram, a real, real, real Indian soldier, you know, he just, you know, by not even taking glass of water immediately, I, he, he told bye-bye to his would-be wife and he rushed to Tiruvalla railway station and catch our, uh, you know, the Himasagar Express which is going from Kanyagumari to uh, Jammu Kashmir. Okay, Jammu. And he just landed there. From there, he just in a helicopter or something. He went to Kargil and participated and he died. Okay, now listen, there are many other cases also. Now, here, why I am telling you, these are called organizational problem. We have to handle such issues very, very carefully. And here, remember this thing. Now you will understand why I am telling this. Now, after his death, many people, other people also died, not only him. Even Malayali, other people, Malayali also, many other people also died from other states. Okay, that is different too. Now, here, what I am going to tell you is that now, Government of India declared 8 lakhs or something like that, uh, Indian uh, Defense Minister at that time, and any other Defense Minister. Uh, no, no, uh, some other Defense Minister was there. And um, uh, eight, uh, a lakh the central government gave, Kerala government gave some lakh, 3 lakhs or something like that to his wife. Wife means not even, only just he put a tally. Okay. So he, she got, and many other people also gave, uh, gave one. Okay, that is all required, everything. Okay, no problem at all. It is legally there. Is it. Now listen, what I am going to tell the tragedy. After one year, 
one of our channels, I don't want to tell the name, they made a survey that know what they are doing. After the death of this our soldier, great soldier, what his wife is doing and somebody else is doing, even some other people also. These people, reporters, when the girls, residents, and uh, he was, uh, she was uh, very, this thing, you know, uh, she just received, uh, heard them, and what uh, question they are, just to see casually, casually, casually. Because, you know, there is not much relationship, you know. So, uh, casually replied, okay, that's all right. Now, press reporters, you know, they will not leave the matter like that, no. They ask her, uh, where is as uh, parents are living? Parents are living. So, she told, somewhere there, somewhere there. It was near to her household only, but she told somewhere they're going to see. And afterwards, he was not even willing to say where his father was staying and mother was staying. Only father, mother was there. Only one son. He died. And they went there. You know what happened? His fa father received them properly. He was not having money to offer tea or anything, glass of water. They pro he provided. They are very poor and we cannot provide tea, no milk and other things like that. So he, they told, okay, I'll no problem, okay. water it will do. They took water. Even this water was not also not offered by other person. Then he, the father, uh, he they asked the father, how, is, how are you now living and other things? We are very sorry that you, were, you lost your son and other things. So, he was telling, I am very happy that, of course, she is uh, comfortable and she is living comfortably. We are very happy. We lost our son. Now our life is ended almost. So no hope. And anyway, we are happy that she is living comfortably. She is living comfortably. My friend. Finally, when they come back, I uh, know, wanted to come back at that time, father, asked the journalist, I am not, I have got a doubt who made him as a soldier, you know, father or mother is not having any, you know, at least right or anything, who he fought for the country and he died, who made him, you know, as a soldier, you know, Gave education, everything. What they were asking, at least, what actually she got? That, at least that small information they cannot pass on to us. That also, they did. we don't want anything. He clearly told, we don't want a single pipe. At least a normal kid. See, sir, okay, I got this. That also didn't tell. So from this, you can understand very well. Nowadays, situation is, you know, like that. So we, when HR, when we are handling, we should be very careful while dealing with such matter. What I told, what I started, from the birth to death. Now, what about now, even the retirement also, all the settlement is to be done by the gratuity, program fund, EDL, insurance, pension, everything. That also HR. So HR has got a vital role. Okay, of course, I took a lot of time. Only to elaborate the thing. I hope you got the point what I am telling. Perhaps you are working in a private company or wherever it is. This type of occasion will take. I have handled many cases. I don't want to elaborate. Many cases, okay. Many tussles. And there was no nominee. At that time also, problem was there. Okay. So, if there is no nominee, then what we'll do? So, Tahsildar and everybody, they had to, you know, uh, take a decision and uh, nominate to somebody, you know, like the so many issues are there. If you want at that time, if you ask me, then only I will tell because my, you know, life is flooded with such issues only, you know. So the, from that, you know, little experience I'm just telling you. Okay, now, another thing is uh, the, st the organization structure is based on jobs that I told you. Organization does not take into consideration emotion, uh, organizational issues, you know, not emotional aspects. It is a structure. It is required. 
not emotional way, I want like this, I want like this in the organization. No. Organization will function according to the norms. Okay. Not emotional way. The authority and responsibility, you know, who is the authority, who is the responsibility. See, authority and responsibility is resp uh, different. A responsibility means, you know, you may take the responsibility, you may not take. Authority means you have to do. That is the thing. See, collector has got only, uh, collector is having the power to declare shoot aside order in case of law and order problem or whatever is there. Collector, district magistrate, as a district magistrate. Okay, but he cannot delegate the power to Tasildar or somebody else. Only collector can do that. But remember, if he is not performing that, he is the authority, then uh, case will come against him. So he is the authority. So there is a responsibility sometimes, whatever you may take, you may not take. But authority, you cannot escape. Okay, then there is a difference. Okay. Now, another thing, the authority and responsibility, I told you, organization charge. Every company will have top. Chief Executive or Channel Managing Director, then Secretarial Department, then Corporate Department, then various departments, you know, under that. Then under that, you know, so many sub-departments and so many other things. Structure will be displayed in the respective notice board in each and every organization. Okay. No, characteristic, no, we are uh, so formal organization is sufficient, okay. More than that also I can tell because, you know, um, since uh, so many, so many decades, and I worked in the organization, I can say. So these are some of the things which you, you can. Um, now, informal organization. So far, I talked about formal. Now, informal. Informal means unwritten laws. That is, you know, there is no structure. A group. Group. So, that is, generally, a society evolves its own unwritten laws, belief, belief. You know, the church or so many other things, you know, and beliefs and controls regarding what is desirable behavior and what is undesirable. Hello. They will take a decision, what is desirable, what is required, what is not required. See, Afghanistan, they told, a group of people told that after 10 the class, after 10 years, ladies, girls should not go to school. That is their belief. You know, uh, Burka and whatever is there. You know, they are believe. We are not blaming anybody. Okay. They are belief. So, group of people are taking a decision. Okay. Same way, even in our own church and mosque, they are taking group of uh, this thing. That is their belief. I'm pleased to telling you the same incident when I brought the dead body of that engineer to Kori Code, Okam. Chairman in that told me to put a wreath on the of the company in the dead body in the mosque. That boy was a Muslim and on behalf of the company, chairman in that told me to put a wreath on him when the dead body is, you know, just put. And they didn't allow me. So they told that in our faith, we are not doing such things. So that garland and you know, whatever, uh, you know, wreath, whatever is there, you know, I just took back. I brought from this, even I was not having money to purchase that. Without money, I came. So, because on a certain, they told me to go. I, without, I didn't go to my house, uh, when credit card was, was also, debit card was also, not, nothing was there, empty pocket. So, wreath also, they, they just told you are not allowed to enter. But their feet I appreciated, I agree, no problem at all. But remember, remember that time was a very, very, uh, you know, sad moment in my life. Because after struggling for three days, I brought, without money, I brought the widow as well as dead body without realizing whether I, which religion I belong. <laughs> I never realized. But when they refused that, that you are a Hindu, don't put a, any, you know, wreath on him. I was very sad. But at that time only, 
I relate that I am a Hindu. I never bothered about any Hindu or Christian or any secular thing. I always say, friend, follow all are my friends. Okay, so I, like that in every community, I got very good friends. My sincere, most, uh, one of the, I can tell you the greatest friend which I ever had was Christian. We were working with uh, Megastar Amidavich and company in Bombay. Still, I remember, always I used to contact him. So, but at this girl, they didn't allow me to go. Though I came all the way by struggling a lot. At that time, and they told me, but I simply followed their faith. Okay. So I am not uh, accusing them. Okay. It is my own fault. <laughs> okay. Now, so their behavior, undesirable, this is their group, you know, their behavior is sometimes behavior. You know that uh, you can see, see what is going on here also. Okay. Now, see, uh, in the church, even other people are not allowed to go to church. That is how they entering, uh, to enter into. So that is their belief. We cannot blame anybody, isn't it? So, uh, so we can. We everybody has got their own, uh, you know, this thing. So, it is a group of people. They are believing in certain principles. Group of people. So, we are not. Neither we are uh, blaming them. We are not accepting them also. Okay. Now, leader. Then, in this group, uh, leadership is informal. Anybody can become a leader. Leadership is informal. Okay. Now, another thing. Try, uh, okay, this type of things are that informal organization. Communication will become easy. Because, you know, form, uh, this thing, formal structure, you know, it takes, you know, vertical communication, horizontal, diagonal, whatever is there. No? But here it is, rumor will spread like anything in informal organization. But uh, there is a relation between formal and informal. Every formal organization, informal group also will be there. You go to secretary. Go to secretary, it is a formal this thing, you know. Section office is there, under secretary is there, all these people are there, no? But remember, there is a group of other people. Who are they? So many associations. So many, you know, uh, SCST associations, CITU, Students Union, something, INDU, you see something, wing, 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 wing. So, so many subgroups are there. Within that organization, this type of informal, this thing, everywhere it is there. Everywhere it is there. Not only that, there is a rule also when I was working in ISR also. Yeah, we had to provide a room with so many chairs and table with one cell, a board, and a telephone connection to union leader. Okay, recognize union leader. So they are all. Sometimes informal and formal the single. Union, if it is registered, it will become a formal. If it is not registered, it will become informal. Other thing we read. Okay, now <clears throat> principles of organization. Dictionary meaning of the term principle is standard or accepted guide to action. Henry Fiol defined principle as technology. Okay. Uh, we shall discuss the principles of organization like this. See, Henry Fowl, he derived a set of 14 principles. Henry Fowl, very simple. Important things See, 14 principles of organization. One, Henry Fowl. Okay, division of work, no go railway, mechanical work, electrical work. Okay, so many subdivisions are there. No? Now you take the example, uh, no, say, uh, division of work, southern division, northern division, eastern division, central division. So many divisions are there. So, like that, division of work also is there. In a company also, within the company also, so many divisions are there. Now, take this example, Indian oil. Gas, producing LPG, one division. Petrol, one division. Diesel, one division. Kerosene, one uh, division. L this uh, pipeline, another, uh, this thing, uh, you know, division. Then, aeroplane, this, this thing, you know, uh, uh, 
uh, whatever uh, better or whatever is there it is high density whatever is there you know for that separate division is there so many so many divisions are there in a particular company same way ongc also it is like that now take the example of um, steel authority of india durgarpur steel plant is there bilai steel plant is there like that uh, many other okay so so many divisions are there in an organization everything combined to one okay now another thing authority and responsibility i already told authority what is responsible discipline okay discipline or obedience imply the members behave in accordance with the standing agreement between p when you are working in a company you are getting uncovered under service rules what is service rule carefully listen to the no nothing is the your book says only one line one line discipline one line yes i have line <laughs> okay not even full one line what is discipline hey let me talk about the uh, state government or central government there is a service rule for non gazetted and gazetted the different different okay and uh, service rules you are supposed to work that when you are pay, applying for leave when you are uh, you know uh, you know sincere punctuality and secrecy and everything you know, so many things are process when you are getting appointment letter at that time the first thing is that you are likely to be transferred anywhere in india if it is central government appointment in the state government appointment the first line is that you will be transferred you can be transferred anywhere within the state you cannot deny if it you are you, know, you take the example of ias officers everything today kollam collector will be there tomorrow he will be kasaragod collector okay so like that you are supposed to go so that is called the service rules if you violate any of the provision the action can be initiated by them now private company there is a for workers it is called standing order it is statutory if 100 persons are working there should be a standing order which is applicable to workers only in standing under order how to maintain discipline how action is to be initiated when you are committing any mistake your uh, retirement date and your leave and entitlement and whatever this thing everything is mentioned and uh, when you are, when my company has to take any action against him so they have to quote the clauses and uh, they can take action now it is statutory statutory standing order now i am going to tell non statutory that is office office service rule is not statutory it is model conduct rules appeal rules model conduct and appeal rules that is only guiding principle you are supposed to do you are supposed to do so again while taking action against an officer you can quote that but it is not having any legal sanctity but certified standing order labor commissioner uh, will be involved because you have to uh, you know submit a co copy of standing order to labor commissioner also because standing order will be signed by the regional labor commissioner model conduct the bill rules only board of directors of the company not no legal status that is applicable to office okay discipline i told proper self discipline is required wherever you are don't see what others are doing what this man is doing what that man is doing you see what you are doing okay and uh, it will be judged by the superior person if that man is not working he will look out that and uh, one more request to you last time i also told try to shoulder more responsibility so that you can learn more and there is you will be having career opportunities if you are only restricting you know whatever you know i am appointed i will do that putting c d c till only i will do that till 60 years of uh, 56 years old or like that only if you are uh, dispatch work only uh, up to 55 years i will do only dispatch work don't do that if officer is asking you to do that job do that no because you can learn many things so whenever vacancy come come uh, comes in that particular post you can apply the, the officer will recommend that is the thing so take initiative don't think that you know i am plus with the state government i am safe for the uh, till 56 years old please don't have that intention in your mind 
you are being paid by the taxpayer and you have to do perform your duty honestly sincerely with utmost punctuality okay now unity of command unity of command means you know uh, a person should get instruction from one from one officer only that is unity of command that you know a person is reporting to two person he, he cannot satisfy two person no so he should be uh, you know uh, reporting he should be reporting to one person and he is ge getting direction from one person that is called a unity of command next unity of direction for head of each employee and one plan of each activity that is you know unity of direction means direction is given and uh, by the top management or whatever is there or head of the department the one head for each employee and one plan for each activity then subordination or individual interest in general interest the interest of individual of a group interest of the organization should be now here yeah. organization is supreme than individual you should not think that you know i am supreme no if organization is there you are the okay you are also required for the organization you are playing a vital role no doubt about it but organization is supreme than an individual you understand this basic theory okay next remuneration of other thing you read only simple half of line is there then remuneration see that is you know salary remuneration what is that salary you know basic pay dearness salary cca hra overtime or whatever is there transport allowance medical allowance and uh, so many children education allowance your education allowance like that like that that is gross deduction will be problem fund either esi or professional tax income tax uh, any advance if any all this thing then net salary okay that you understood what is gross salary and net salary gross salary will be combined whatever is the and that will not be the net salary net salary deduction will be the epf esi that is statutory okay and uh, pf is up to 15000 pf will be deducted up to 21000 esi will be deducted so that is deduction column then after then income tax will be deducted you know if you are uh, uh, drawing more salary that you cannot say that don't make any deduction see you don't have any right to say it is my salary don't deduct no 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 say these are all statutory income tax Provident fund ESI. Uh, this month you don't deduct. To so next month you deduct. No sir, because pay and disbursing officer is personally responsible for non-deduction of the tax from the concerned individual, and the pay and uh, uh, disbursing officer will be prosecuted under law. If the statutory deduction is not made. on the salary of the individual he will be personally responsible for the violation of the statutory act who who is poorly salary paying the salary that's all so minimum wages is minimum wages is fixed and dna salaries is fixed with the state government every quarter the due to price fluctuation department of economics and statistics they are publishing the dna uh, dna salavans uh, status how many points are increased one point mean 26 rupees 33 33 paisa and depend upon and please remember city to city it is different it is because in you know, a cost of living kochi will be more because it is a uh, you know industry based uh, here uh, this thing uh, cost of living will be more because navy army or uh, this wallabar and dam so many other things you know northern railway southern railway uh, sorry the no all railway so many metro metro everything you know cost of living will be more in kochi so dearness alvan everything you know is fixed based on the price index that is fluctuation in the market where in north india some of the state remember da is fixed by the state government depend upon the price fluctuation but in north india dearness alvan is fixed 
based on the price of potato and savala. You know why? Without that, they cannot survive. Punjab, Piana, Rajasthan, Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh. That is the basic requirement while eating, you know. They require this. So, if it is increased, then automatically the expenditure will go up. This type of things are okay. Next, so salary, I told you, if any doubt is that you ask me, you, should, you are not asking any question. That's why I am very comfortable, you know. But I, would, I am not happy. You should ask questions, you know. Next, centralization. Power is given, delegated. Each power is given to, because, you know, chief minister cannot do each and everything, you know. So he is distributing the power to other ministers. Ministry, uh, you know, so many boards and uh, so many divisions and departments they are doing. You know? So uh, centralization of power is required and uh, all powers should not be vested in, uh, you know, some person, you know. But remember, certain powers should not be, cannot be delegated. Certain powers cannot be delegated. Okay, that is also there. Can I, you ask me why? President of India is the supreme commander of armed forces. Okay. He can only impose uh, emergency in India. External emergency, internal emergency, financial emergency. Anybody else, vice president or prime minister can do that? Only president of India. So, you understand what I'm telling? Centralization of power. Some certain powers cannot be delegated. Okay. Okay. Now here, Governor is the chancellor of a uh, state university. Nobody else. Okay. Not a central university. Central university is different. Okay. Now, scalar chain. That is upward and downward. That you know, scalar chain means that is chairman, man in the city. Below that, you know, zonal man, the board of directors, chairman in director, then the zonal manager, or then regional manager, 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 assistant manager, down below, like that. Down below, hierarchy in the organization, that is scalar principle. Order placement. When you are selected, either through PSC or via KAS or whatever is there, or through advertisement or in the private sector, it is the duty of the HR person, HR department, to keep him at the right place for the right job at the right time. That is called order placement. That, you know, after selection, it is the duty of the individual officer concerned to keep him at the right place, for the right job, at the right time. Next. Now, order placement, I told you. Another thing, equity. Equity. See, uh, that you know, need to tell that organization to encourage uh, in atmosphere of equity based on friendliness and justice and employer employer employee relation that is equity we have to treat employee properly now here i will take one more minute so keep in mind this because this will help you a small incident employer employee relation one small incident spark will explode like anything in an organization so let me share my experience which I face. Employer employee relation, what I'm telling, a small spark. So it avoid that will ultimately become it will explode like anything in the company. Now, let me point out one thing. I was attending a vigilance meeting at you know ministry in Delhi many years back. That is 89 February. Okay, so I was attending company nominated me to there was a vigilance conference and something. I, I was in the ministry electronics and the communication ministry. I was attending that and the program was for three years, uh, three, three days. The first day when I was attending, I got a call from chairman managing director of the company to come back immediately to come back they only deputed me so come back immediately so i'm hurriedly i'm just uh, summarizing this immediately i took car you know because i cannot wait for uh, this thing and 
and I was eligible also car and I, I just rushed it 285 kilometer and uh, uh, within four hours I reached uh, and it was at one o'clock night one o'clock or uh, one thirty something like that so they told me that I, mean, I because I, I don't want to there is no time to elaborate they told me to terminate four persons and like that from the union president secretary of the city so I oppose I will not do that because it is illegal because we as per the law that we cannot uh, uh, you know, suspend or terminate uh, any office bearers of the union that is against law so he told no uh, you have to do that all directors told me they were sitting during night so I don't know what is the reason uh, I don't know what was the reason for telling this so now let me tell the reason ultimately I did I don't want to elaborate it was very dangerous thing which I did okay anyway that is very uh, that is very very uh, and a, a nice way I handled it but remember the background history why they told what was the problem see uh, we constructed a building the ISRO now ISRO costing 500 crores at that time okay and uh, people were waiting for the commissioning the plan by the prime, prime minister because they, we wanted to start certain activities after commissioning that plan so we were waiting for the prime ministers to inaugurate that particular plan now listen what really happened which i was not knowing even i was at all i was not knowing nobody told me also i am i am supposed to know but i i was not knowing <laughs> Now here, what happened, when I analyzed why they are asking me to do this, I came to know that previous three, four days, early morning, chairman, managing director, with his wife, alone, he, they came in a car to that plant, a particular plant. And at that time, they arranged a puja in that uh, particular building in small you know, ground floor performed by a Hindu Pandit one day. And uh, no prasadam distribution, nothing. After performing up to 8 o'clock, the puja, he went back and he came at, at ten, again 9 o'clock in the office. The very next day, Early morning again he came with his wife and he conducted a puja by involving a Christian priest. Again, same thing, price, uh, no uh, distribution of prasad or whatever is there, he went back afterwards, you know, taking bath, bath or whatever is there, he came back to office. No information was given to any worker in the company. And third day, early morning again he came and with a Muslim Pandit, he conducted a puja, similar way, and he went back and came. And all these three union came to know and union protested. How you can conduct a puja without involving the workers, hundreds of workers who really wanted, struggled, uh, you know, expecting the commissioning of the plant. That was the reason for that. Anyway, afterwards, what really happened? Very, very dangerous way to end. Afterwards, I controlled the situation. It was, a, it was a historical thing. And anyway, about that, I don't want to mention. But here, I want to tell you, chairman, managing director cannot conduct a puja without involving a worker or any worker or informing anybody in the factory. Because come, factory belongs to everybody, you know. So it is a customary thing. They, they, he should in, uh, invite everybody, you know. That was the beauty of that. But he didn't do. And proper question was that they went on strike. They did the kerao. And finally, they called me from Delhi to sack them and other things. And that is uh, another story that, uh, of course, I never, though I obeyed, but I protested and uh, I, I, it was a, a different story afterwards. Okay. Uh, now then here equity we have to treat uh, we have to maintain employer employee relation properly if the government the private no no further this thing 
uh, already explained, gave a lot of example. Now, stability of tenor. In the state government, central government, stability of tenor is there. Okay, you are, um, you know, what I'm telling, uh, at least, you know, secured job. Here I just want to tell you, you are permanent and regular. I told you last, I think, I don't know to whom I told you, I'm taking several classes. There is a difference between permanent employee and regular employee and, uh, you know, that also please keep in mind. Permanent employee is only state government and central government. Okay. The others are regular employee. Though they are permanent, it will be called a regular employee only. Though you are working for the last 35 years, either in TCS or Infosys or whatever company, or a Premier Automobiles or Apollo Tires, you cannot say that I am a permanent employee. Permanent word comes only central government and state government. Please remember that. And it is you are a regular employee. You will not be uh, no, sacked or anything. You are a regular employee. Okay. Now, here uh, I am telling, so your job is secured, security job is there. The next, initiative. See, when you are working, you have to take initiative. Creativity should be there. Initiative should be there. Without telling, also you have to take initiative and you have to place your boss. Boss is always right. Maybe he is wrong, but you have to persuade him. This is the thing. Okay. So now, Esprit de Corps, very team spirit. See? What is May 1? May 1st. It is Labor Day. What is Labor Day emblem? This. This. We are all together and together we can attain anything, achieve anything. So, team spirit. That is Esprit, uh, Esprit uh, D Corpus. Okay. Now, another thing. Gulik contributed 10 principles of organization. Division of work, I already told. Departmental organization, I told. Conditional through hierarchy, that is up, up and down. Deliberate coordination. Then uh, committee. What is co in company? Uh, here, government department has a lot of committees are there, you know. Now, in organization, suggestion committee is there. Anomaly committee is there. Welfare committee is there. Quality uh, circle committee is there. There are so many circles. There are so many committees. There are so many committees. Okay. And uh, suggestion committee, anomaly committee, welfare committee, so many committees. So they are rendering certain service. Then decentralization, unity of command, I told, staff and line, that is, you know, recruitment. Okay. Then delegation, told, span of control, that is reporting relationship. Okay. Now, another Thing, contribute eight principles. Principles of objective, principles of correspondence, principles of responsibility, principle span of control. That is, you know, a superior cannot supervise direct. See, a supervisor cannot supervise 100%. Few people only. Okay. So that is the thing. Principle of span of control. Span of control. Few people only. You cannot control 300 people at a time. So, principle specialization. Specialization. Certain area is specialization. You, you know, everybody cannot do. You are a mechanical engineer, or that is engineer, this engineer. You cannot do anything. You take the example of metro. Metro, metro when construction was going on, Sridharan, and uh, Dr. I mean, uh, Dr. Sridhar, when he took engineer, and he addressed engineers after the retirement, uh, sorry, after the recruitment in Ernakulam, that he told that young boy, you are engineers now. You are simply engineers. But engineers should know what is engineering. That is the first word he told. So, what is the meaning of that? So, we have to under specialization. In many areas, specialization is required. That we have to learn. Specialization, everybody cannot do that. Okay, now. Another thing, uh, thing is that principle objective told, work specialization I told, correspondence, scale of principle, principle of responsibility, nothing is there. So many people repeated the same thing. Line and stop, principle unity of command, pan of control I already told. Then another, Eric Frank, 11 principles, same, same, same. The objectives of the embryo, what is the organization should be simple and flexible. Every organization should be simple and flexible. Don't think that one structure is there, it cannot be changed. No, 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 no. It is not like that. Depend upon necessity, they can be changed. See, for the moment, sometimes company will merge. At that time, structure will be changed. 
Sometimes some department will be, see, take the example of Hindustan machine tools, watch, clock, and machine tools. They were manufacturing. Watch they stopped, clock they stopped, then only machine tools only in Kalamashiri. And whereas HMD head of is in Bangalore. So many units were closed. The structural changes will be there sometimes. Okay. Now, okay, now be a, now another aspect is that the organization should be simple and flexible. I told already. Then uh, responsibility assigned, responsibility each authority, accountability, I already told you, you are accountable. Then um, what is accountability? Now take the example of company secretary. After the financial year, within six months, account is completed, finalized, audit report is to be obtained, annual general, me general meeting within nine months, it is to be conducted, failing which company secretary will be responsible and register of company will be definitely he will uh, they will impose penalty and for that penalty company secretary is personally liable to pay that penalty okay so uh, it is accountability that everybody should know what are their function okay now uh, accountability told her authority now Typology organization, product, and then product and producted organization, economic organization, political organization, you know, political organization, integrative organization. Integrative means organization try to settle conflicts, integrate and coordinate various segments of the society. There will be conflict also sometimes, you know, to integrate, work together, provide stability, everything. Then maintenance. Maintenance, of course, long-term issues such as values, pattern, knowledge, culture, etc. has to be maintained. Educational, cultural and religious institutions, they are maintaining certain, they are following certain ethics, principles, everything. So they are maintaining that. The church, you know, they have got their religious, uh, this thing. When we go to temple, we are removing chapel, you know, that is a customary custom, custom actually. A lot of things are there, no? So that is, you know, main, uh, we are maintaining that type of things. Okay. Now, production department is there. Adaptive organization. We are told there should not be any resistance to change. According to needs, we, told, we had to make alteration. We had to adapt uh, the modern technology, everything, method, management ethics, whatever it is, the principles, everything. Previously, Tata quality management was the quality circle was the just in time was the so everything we have to introduce if it is felt necessary in the company. Okay, then now mutual benefit organization that is political party mutual benefit. Just wait five ten minutes more. Political parties because I want to complete this. Political parties trade union. Professional association, that is for mutual benefit. Trade union, political parties, professional association, then business organization. So business organization, we have to keep in mind one aspect that uh, they are, you know, investment is taking place, then naturally they expect return on investment also. Return on investment also. Then service organization, which is service organization, hospital, education institution, social work, legal societies everything so that is the service organization hospital everybody okay then common organization what is common organization post office police firefighting military service okay this type of things are common then okay another aspect is that charismatic authority charismatic authority means the man who's sitting on the top will decide the future of the organization. Whoever is sitting, it should be an able person, very knowledgeable person, expert, whether it is technical or managerial, he should lead the organization. And he should always watch the competition, etc. He is to give directions to the down level. Charismatic, uh, that is, you know, we have to give respect uh, to that. There, there were a lot of people in India also, okay. Uh, nobody questioned them, their authority, okay. And a uh, lot of people were there in the university also, 
uh, you know, many, many personalities were there and uh, university vice chancellor. I think I already told you in uh, Madras University, here, of course, you can uh, understand, you know, yeah, how we are recruiting here. Yes. You know, either he should be politically affiliated and uh, something, you know, that, that, post, that, that person's recommendation, this person's recommendation, like that. But let me tell good things, you know, one or two. I don't want to tell any political thing. Let me tell, I will always say what is regret, what is not regret. Now, here I don't have any anybody to quote that, you know, the you know, vice chancellor or chancellor here. Because I, I know each and everybody's background, even, you know. So even Cochin University is university vice chancellor wife was working with me. And she was telling about her husband also. Okay, oh, highly qualified, don't no doubt about it, but political affiliation. Okay, anyway. So now can I quote one thing in Madras? 195 years old Madras University, Mahalingam was the vice chancellor of Madras University once. Great. Uh, this thing. This is Kali University, vice chancellor. Many people are there, not only him. And uh, one day what happened? There was strike by non-teaching staff for enhancement of the salary. And they simply Mahalingam told her, you cannot... Uh, uh, pay the increase the salary because state government has to decide. Oh, sorry, so, ah, sorry, yeah, state government has to because it's a Madras University, very big university, oldest university, constituted by British people. Okay, so the state government has to take a decision, then only I can. But they went on strike and examination was going on, and uh, the, he really struggled because the, the lack of participation from this non teaching staff for supervising the examination, he suffered. And he told, I am very sorry because the state government has to approve. Higher education department has to approve. Then after we will see, let, let us conduct the examination or something like that. Now what happened? People were not obliging. Some union people, you know, in Madras. So finally, during night, the news came and he resigned. He submitted resignation to the governor, Tamil Nadu. It spreaded like a wild fire. At that time, it was my... Uh, yes, Tamil Nadu only at that time. Okay. It spreaded like a wild fire throughout Tamil Nadu. So, nobody expected this. Even the trade union leader. And uh, because he told, I am unable to, I am not capable of solving this issue. So, humbly submit my... Uh, resignation to the governor of uh, honorable governor of uh, uh, his excellency that governor of tamil nadu see this news when uh, spread it and that where it went to the message reached to the union leaders also you will be shocked that all the trade union leaders went to his house and he, they apologized and told him to take baby resignation. And they told, we want you as a chancellor in this university. We are extremely sorry that we have felt so much and other thing because of our demand. But please withdraw. We are withdrawing our demand for the time being. But you should be here as a vice chancellor. This is the story. Same way. It happened when I was studying uh, our, uh, you know, graduation, post-graduation in Punjab University. Fifteen years, one person was chair, vice chancellor. Nobody raised any objection to remove him. And he, after 15 years, he requested the government to spare him because he wanted to go to USA. <laughs> so there are people like that, okay? No. So charismatic leadership. That academically, some impartial, you think, you know? Okay, no. These are all uh, problem are arising because of the, you know, our university is divided, you know, uh, to various uh, political parties. There lies the problem. Okay, now, uh, no, we are not blaming, eh? I'm not telling people are competent. See, qualification is one thing. But because of that, quali quali merit-wise, if you are uh, becoming, no problem at all. But through push and pull and whatever, then the problem comes. Okay. Merit wise, you come, become no problem. Now, MC, uh, MG University, wise, you know, an outstanding scientist actually. I know that. Polymer science or whatever is there. Okay. Chemistry or whatever is there. Okay. Outstanding. No problem. Qualification. Everybody is competent. Hello. 
ആൾ യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റി വെച്ചിരുന്ന വെരി കോമ്പറ്റൻ്റ് ആയിരുന്നു ഐ നോ മധുസൂദനൻ ഇറ്റ് വാസ് വർക്കിംഗ് ഇന്ത്യൻ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ഓഫ് മാനേജ്മെന്റ് സോറി ഇന്ത്യൻ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ഓഫ് സയൻസ് ബാംഗ്ലൂർ ആൻഡ് ഹി വൈഫ് മൈ കൊളി and uh, she was telling that many years they were abroad doing research work and other things so they are highly qualified no doubt about it but merit wise you they should appoint and they should be appointed okay so charismatic traditional what is traditional see one managing director is resigning automatically his son will become you know wipro hero honda then bilra birla you know bajaj father goes son will come son goes son 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 another son will come like that you know the traditional thing it is happening in the private company reliance dhiru uh, ambani was there then then mukesh ambani mukesh ambani was already three his son or daughter whatever already they are directors okay anil ambani other other side it is there so these are all traditional we cannot blame anybody is that the family business you know okay now legal rationally okay that is legal authority what is that legal concept authority it is legal because authority is exercised by means that is bureaucrat legal they cannot violate rule within rule they to function that is legal authority then principle of p four p's that is purpose process persons place we already discussed this type of thing now organizational based process the account department public they process organization based on process public was department law and law are examples of this type of organization that is organization based on process the account department is there their duty what is the duty finalize the account doing the internal audit fund management transaction with the banks settlement of accounts everything okay so account then public work and law what is law so according to law prevalent in the country either in the state or the country they have to function you should remember company secretary is the chief law officer of an organization or company secretary in a company he is the chief law officer he should know the law what is statutory things and other things you know okay now now another thing organization organization on the basis of persons the organizations are formed on the basis of the person served women and child welfare department hello women child welfare department lady will be the uh, our uh, what is the women commission our uh, you know uh, what is her jo- josepha that lady will be the head of that particular commission our youth chindajaram again you know uh, ladies will be the tribal some from sc st community somebody will be the uh, this thing like that you know that is a normal process actually okay now because they will take care of that them carefully okay then um, tribal department then old person and uh, unemployed say old persons city, senior citizen you have to take care of the there is a general guidelines issued by the defense ministry please uh, just wait it to 10 uh, 5 10 minutes please remember this thing because i am telling additional information see after retirement from the army there is a uh, you know army young age people are retiring after serving 15 years study a long way to go so there is a department called ex servicemen department corporation or department in district wise also so they can be deployed either in the bank or in some other uh, organization because everybody will be happy to take the ex servicemen because of their high discipline punctuality and throughout india they travel because they were so soldiers or ex you know many either in the air force or whatever is there so different languages they know different culture they know so and their punctuality discipline everybody will be very eager to take a, if any vacancy is there so that is that and we are also giving an opportunity to ex service man there is a quota also okay that is also the i also take a lot of people when i was a, a, a well, it was easy to interact with them you know they can understand the things okay then another thing organization on the basis uh, that i told welfare on the basis of person that is 
I had it told welfare department, tribal welfare fund, old person, unemployed. This thing, examples or type of this organization. Okay, now, organization basis of place or territory, territory. Organization are created on the basis of place or territory or area to be served. Railway. 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 You see, Southern Railway, Eastern Railway, Southeastern Railway, Northern Railway, Central, you know, so many railway, Frontier Railway, Northeastern Frontier Railway, uh, Metro Railway. These are all territorial, this thing. Okay. Organizations. So, okay. Then, countries and districts are best, best examples of territory. Now, our state, uh, this uh, union territory, are territory based. State, uh, this thing border is there. And country, border is there, China, as well as, you know, Pakistan or whatever is there, India. There is a border. Okay, so territory wise. Now, so let me conclude this. Now, an organization is the planned coordination of the activities of a number of persons or I hope with this so much explanation, if I conclude, it will be easy for you to understand the things of this particular unit. See, let me say, an organization is the planned coordination of the activities of a number of persons or employees for the accomplishment of some common explicit purpose of or goals through division of labor and function through hierarchy, reporting relationship, and through accountability, authority, everything I explained. And everything is common goal. Okay, now example I told, you know, COVID and other things. It is a common goal to eradicate this type of disease from our state. Okay, then the same way, other objectives are also the done. It is a cooperative effort. It is, okay, everybody has to jointly uh, work together. And uh, we, for every aspect, we find one or other organization to provide service. We are there is a service uh, department uh, or this thing. We are providing service. So we try to make you familiarize with the how importance of organization. Without organization, this type of thing will not ha happen. You know. So organization plays a vital role for implementing the uh, policies of either the government or the corporate. Okay. Then the nature and characteristic of formal and informal organization, I already told you. So within the uh, formal organization, there is informal. Both are required actually. Both are required. Within the formal, informal is also the, they are also not, uh, they are not doing any harmful thing. They are also, you know, we have a group in the Tamil group, we have a group in the Tamil group. We have a group in the Tamil group. We have a group in the Tamil group. I will be able to get a lot of money. I will be able to get a lot of money. I will be So, this type of thing we have to accept. That is the diversity of this beautiful country. Okay. Now, the nature and characteristic of formal and informal organization and the distinction between them are discussed. The basis on which the organization are established are also prescribed. Now, here, this unit I conclude. I just want to conclude one thing more. In every organization, there will be structure, formal structure. The structure will be approved by the board of directors. Sir, in state government, it is by the general administration department, actually, you know, whatever is the, they are doing that, you know, chief secretary will let it. Chief secretary is the uh, highest uh, bureaucrat in the state, and the cabinet secretary is the chief bureaucrat highest to bureaucrat in the central government. Okay. Chief secretary in the state and the cabinet secretary. So what I mean, they are all, uh, you know, together, they are, you know, making policies and other things. And um, here, what I want to tell you is that uh, the basic organization established also presented, distinction between also nature and character, formal and informal organization. Formal is, so what I'm telling this, um, board of directors will decide in a company, I am just telling you how many departments are required. Total manpower strength. How much? Because you have to pay the salary also. Program fund contribution, ESI contribution. The board of directors will decide the structure of the organization, how many departments, recruitment, everything. They will, from time to time, they will give direction to the uh, chairman, managing director. Chairman, will managing director will be implementing this policy with the co active cooperation of 
the various department heads added. You know, various departments are there. I'm going to see you know. Apo, it all live here. Your organization live here. Can you implement here? No, I don't know. But I'm going to care. I'm going to see you. 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 Okay. So, it's a separate. To take care of. To take care of. Agriculture, agriculture department is there. Took care of irrigation, irrigation department is there. Transport, transport department is there. See, so power is delegated, work is distributed, and but common objective to serve the people and to serve the government. And these are all structural thing, but everywhere human resources play a vital role, specialized for a job and work distribution and their skills and knowledge according to that the selection will be made ultimately the person who is recruiting has to keep in mind that whenever we do the recruitment we have to take, take the right person and for the right job and we have to keep him at the right place so that we can utilize them utilize him or her effectively then work satisfaction and joy of job will be there because it is very very necessary that we should enjoy our job whichever job we are doing that is precious each job is vital organ has to organization has to keep in mind that there are very so many categories all categories together if they work, suppose if you take the example, one hospital, if that sweeper is not cleaning the hospital or toilet, what will happen? And the structure, you know, people are not there in the emergency ward, you know, the, nobody, no servant is there to, you know, uh, take the patient inside. What will happen? Doctor is not there. What will happen? Nurse will not be. Everybody plays a vital role. Now, even in the diesel generator, you know, that operator is not the, the module happen. emergency operation take place. Everybody, ambulance driver, and with this, you know, uh, by risk, is uh, taking ambulance and you know, with the patient. So they are all playing a vital role in our society to serve the people. So organization is supreme. So many definitions by renowned personality they have given. Kindly go through that. And to me, it is a very simple thing, and you can easily understand. With this, I conclude and. Uh...